Hi, my name is Alex Carlucci with Gus and Tro Associates. I am begging you and urging you, if you are doing a Chapter 13 mor mortgage for v VA or FHA, or you're doing a manual underwrite for FHA or VA, please do not go to these uh, people who have no experience. Really interview your loan officer. We are specialists here at Gus, Gus and Show, and I'm getting so many phone calls from my fellow mortgage friends that I talk to on a daily basis. I'm getting calls from reps from banks that don't usually do these. I'm getting phone calls from mortgage brokers who don't usually do these. They're asking for my advice. These loans are getting hacked up and these customers are being tortured. I'm gonna give you an example of how a customer got completely burned because my friend didn't know what he was doing with this loan. He had a client with a chapter 13 loan. He submitted to an underwriter. The underwriter came back and approved it. He said, and he called me up and said, look at this approval, how does this look? Then I started seeing the file and there was a chapter 13 dismissal from September. The underwriter didn't ask why it was dismissed, for one. My mortgage broker didn't ask if, my cl if his client's mortgage payments were made on time while he was in the bankruptcy because mortgage payments don't show up on your credit report when you file a chapter 13 and you need to ask the customer are your mortgage payments on time or your rent on time because they're going to terrorize that. He didn't know to ask that question and I don't know if the customer would have told him the truth or not, but that question was never asked. So then he also had a cavers fail, which means he had a $30,000 20-year-old student loan debt that was failing him from even getting an FHA loan. So this man had cavers fail, a chapter 13 dismissal, and it turned out he had mortgage lates. I could have done it in a two minute interview to tell the guy he had no chance of getting a loan. So, because the underwriter didn't know what they were doing, because the mortgage broker didn't know what he was doing, I don't blame the customer, it's not his fault. Someone says yes to him, he just goes with the flow. The underwriter never figured out that the dismissal would have disqualified the loan because the guy failed to pay his bankruptcy. That never came into play, but if any other underwriter had to look at this or anybody down the road before it got clear to close might have caught it, it probably would have been caught. But that was never caught because what happened is the underwriter said, I'm going to do everything in my power to close this loan. It's, I like the loan. Then they did a mortgage supplement to see his mortgage payment was paid, and it was late multiple times in the last 24 months, which is a no-no when you're in a Chapter 13 mortgage. So that disqualified the loan. But here's the problem. Before they did the supplement for the mortgage, he went out and paid that $30,000 student loan debt. And not that he eventually needed to do it anyway, but he went out to do this because he wanted to buy this house and he paid $30,000 and now he's not gonna close on his mortgage because those mortgage lates disqualified him. So the guy's out 30K. Now he paid off his debt, but maybe he could have saved that money and waited until he was ready to buy a house when he was clean and maybe it wasn't it wasn't necessary so this is why i'm urging you if you guys are doing a manual one to write or a chapter 13 loan please give us a call you're going to go down a path with inexperienced loan officers that aren't really sure what they're doing and they're going to take you down a road like that guy just went down he has no house he has no thirty thousand dollars yes his cavers is clear but means nothing because he doesn't qualify for a while now so you don't want to be that guy please call us we are specialists this is what we do every day my friend does one of these every five years i do 10 of these a month so if you want to go with an average inexperienced mortgage person that knows, doesn't always doing because he sounds good and your realtor referred him be my guest, but be prepared for disaster. These are very specialized loans. Very, very intricate. There's so many little things that can go wrong. And if you want to give me a call, I'll tell you what those are. Now, I have a rep who called me at a bank asking what's going on with these Chapter 13s that are all coming in, these manual underwrites. What, our underwriters don't know what to do with them. I know you do all these videos. You're a specialist. Can you please explain? I Explain it to me. So I had to teach them what to do. And he's like, I need to call you every time I get one of these. I, I don't even know what you just said to me. They're that complicated. The guy's been in the industry for 25 years, and I confused him on how intricate they are. They have so many twists and turns and things that have to be right. Please, if you're doing a manual loan right or a Chapter 13 loan, give us a call first. At least listen to what we have to say. Um, if we give you bad news, it's because the underwriter's not going to close the loan. And if someone else tells you they can, you're going to go down a path of spending some money, and not closing your loan because these underwriters are trained to see this. And if they're not, 
and they're not sure they're going to have an underwriting manager look at their work before they close it because they're going to be like, I'm not sure what I just did. Can you look at it? And the underwriting manager is going to find it. So even if you got past that first wave of underwriting, it doesn't mean you're in the clear. So please give us a call here at Gustin Show Associates. It's our specialty, these loans. My phone number is 630-915-7550. And please hit subscribe and like. It helps us help you. Thank you.